hey guys welcome back to my channel how are you guys doing i hope you guys are all doing wonderful today's video i have a chest remedy for you guys a lot a lot of women struggles with saggy chest and i am one of those women but ever since i started using home remedy because not everyone can afford to go to um to the doctor and do surgery you know what i mean so yeah if you don't know there's a home remedy that you can do at home and it would definitely help you out with saggy chest so we are going to begin first we need onions you can use red or white onions as you can see i'm peeling out the skin we don't need a whole um onion i don't know if i said lemon but no onions red onions uh, we don't need a whole one we need about four ounces of lemon and this is what we are going to be working with today amazing amazing remedy you guys and you guys will be so happy that you came across this remedy today so once you peel out i'm gonna cut out um four ounces and i'm going to grate it so you want to grate this if you don't want to grate it if you don't have a grater you can blend the onions even better so I am going to be grating mine just because it's faster. I don't want to bring out my blender. Um, it's still the same result. So just grate it down or blend it down. Body nice. See, I got them, girl, them are moving right. So after you finish grading it, you want to add um rice flour this is two tablespoons of rice rice flour if you don't have rice flour you can use chickpea flour it's going to give you absolutely the same result so yeah as you can see i added my rice flour and i'm just going to make this into paste just mix it very well and turn it into a paste after you have mixed it very well we are going to be adding one banana not a whole banana just banana we're going to be adding about two tablespoons of banana just make sure your banana is very soft and ripe because if it's hard you will not be able to um, blend it properly you don't want an um, unripe banana you want it to be as soft as what you just saw in the video so i'm going to mash it with the other two ingredients in there just like that i see how that easy it is so you want to mash it together like that and turn it into a paste it's very nice and soft banana are the secret to well nourished skin as it helps keep it hydrated which is what we need we need our breast to be nice and hydrated it also help moisturizing dry skin and making it soft and supple vitamin a in banana restores the skin moisture and smoothing out the rough texture by healing dry and patched skin so um you can never ever go wrong on your skin with banana that's why i love banana the next thing we're going to need is aloe vera aloe vera is one of the main main ingredients for firming your chest you don't need too much in this recipe just because of the other um, uh, ingredient that we already included so we just need about one teaspoon of aloe vera i grow my own aloe vera so i don't have those um the ones that you buy from store these ones are like mines i grow them they're organic and a little bit of it goes a long way so one tablespoon of aloe vera and you want to mix it in with the other ingredient <laughs> Go down, 
she a give me on a loop now. Go now, anyway, you wanna go now. Batman, me, I put you on a first class. Alright, so your mixture is ready and it should look something like this, like the texture should be like this. You want to apply this around your chest where it's affected, especially where your chest is folded and touching your belly button. So you want to apply it on there. You want to do this three days in a row um, consistently and after that you can start doing it once a week, which is um not too bad for you know for something like this so yeah you want to do it three days consistently starting from whenever you want to start and then after that do it once a week just to keep everything firm again and that is pretty much everything so after that you can use your choice of oil to when you wash it off to like moisturize your chest you don't want to leave it like unmoisturized after you wash it so you want to you can use extra virgin olive oil you can use aloe vera oil you can use sunflower oil you can use any choice of your oil and that is it you can keep this mixture in this in the fridge up to two weeks and yeah that is pretty much everything you guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you do don't forget to subscribe thumbs up and share let me know in the comment section if you're gonna try this remedy let me know if you already uh, know about this remedy before because a lot of people don't know they went through under knife under knife and when they find out like why did i go under knife when i can do this at home so yeah please subscribe and the subscribe button is somewhere around here subscribe share and thumbs up i love you guys i'll catch you guys again bye Original